briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1974, an intriguing legal battle unfolded between corporate giant Ralston Purina Company and F.R. McNabb, a West Tennessee farmer, in the United States District Court for the Western District of Tennessee. At the heart of the discord were two contracts concerning the delivery of soybeans, which McNabb failed to meet. Subsequently, Ralston Purina was forced to take the matter to court. McNabb cited bad weather as the cause for non-delivery, invoking a legal defense known as impossibility. However, the court clarified that such a defense would only apply if the contract was specifically for a crop from a specific piece of land, which it wasn't in this case. McNabb also accused Ralston Purina of calculating damages from an incorrect date and acting in bad faith. Adding a layer of complexity to the case, the jury rejected Ralston Purina's claim of good faith in modifying the contracts, as evidence indicated they knew by November 30, 1972, that McNabb's fulfillment of the contract was unlikely. This led to a dispute over the date for damage calculation. Additionally, they concurred that severe weather conditions such as heavy rains and floods indeed hampered McNabb's farming operations during that time period. The court concluded McNabb failed to deliver 3,771 bushels of soybeans as per the contracts. The damages were reckoned based on the deadline date of November 30, 1972, as endorsed by the jury. The court ultimately ruled in favor of Ralston Purina, dismissing McNabb's impossibility defense and bad faith claims. A judgment was made, ordering McNabb to pay $1,496.59 plus interest dating back to 1972 for his breach of contract. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.